In just a fraction of a second after the Big Bang, the quantum-sized universe expanded tremendously fast. In an incredibly brief moment, it went from being smaller than the nucleus of an atom to the size of a golf ball. When the expansion finally slowed, the force field that had powered it was transformed into the matter and energy that fill the universe today. Energy does not exist anywhere by itself since it is not a physical substance. There is no such thing as pure energy. It is not tangible. A widely used definition of energy is the capacity or ability to do work. One of most basic laws of science is the law of the conservation of energy according to which energy cannot be created or destroyed, it can only be changed from one form to another. Energy isn't a thing that things are made of. There's no such thing as pure energy, it is a quantity that things can have. Energy can be compared to other physical quantities like momentum, velocity, mass, volume, length, etc. It's a measurable property of a thing or system, but it's not a thing itself. E equals mc square says that mass and energy can be converted into each other, or more precisely, that mass is a form of stored energy. Therefore the question is really how did mass came into being? Once we answer this question, we know where energy came from. It is generally accepted that the universe came to be from nothing. The Big Bang is supported by plenty of evidence. Therefore, the currently accepted scientific theory is that that universe exploded into existence about 13.7 billion years ago. Gravitational waves, the cosmic microwave background, and the existence of primordial elements all stand as proof of Big Bang. Quantum mechanics tells us that there is no such thing as empty space. Even the most perfect vacuum contains clouds of particles and antiparticles, which flare into existence and almost instantaneously fade back into nothingness. These are known as virtual particles, they do not last long enough to be observed directly, but scientists know they exist by studying their effects. Everywhere in the universe, particles and antiparticles spontaneously form and quickly annihilate each other, without violating the law pertaining to conservation of energy. Such spontaneous appearance of these virtual particle pairs are known as quantum fluctuations. Experiments conducted in laboratories have proved this phenomenon too. Physicists do not really know for sure, but their best guess seems to be that the extreme positive and negative quantities of energy randomly fluctuated into existence. Quantum theory and Heisenberg's uncertainty principle provide a natural explanation for how that energy may have come out of nothing. That's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new, do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for awesome content.